everyone, how's it going? I'm having a very chaotic feeling day. My day isn't chaotic, just inside my brain feels chaotic. It's October. If you've been watching me the past few days, you know we do something called the magical cat. This is the magical cat. It's shattered. I still have to try to fix that. Every day it brings a little trick or treat for the kids. It lays pumpkin eggs. I don't know, guys. I don't know. In case anyone's interested in what it brought today, it brought this cool little cookie making kit. And this note was rolled up in its mouth. It says, this prize is for all of you, but there is one rule. We cannot open these until Flynn is home from school. I'm talking about the cookies. But the eggs have a clue that will take you to a prize that's not a cookie. But if you put them on your window, it will make your house look spooky. So there were three eggs inside of the cat and they all have a picture of which egg belongs to which kid. And inside there were clues of where they could find a little surprise. Clues were like little pictures like this. So this was Wesley's clue and his prize was inside of this. We got these little window Halloween thingies. So they were putting them on the window this morning. And that was their little surprise today. So there's gonna be days where they get a trick. So they might get like something silly or like a piece of trash. And some days only one kid will get a treat. Some days they'll all get like a candy. Some days I'll get a very special surprise. Like today was pretty epic. Like to get a cookie decorated kit, like hello. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and realizing I look tired. So I'm gonna try to fix that. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I actually have two doctor's appointments tomorrow. I am so tempted to cancel my doctor's appointments and pull Flynn out of school and take him to go see the cuttlefish at the Long Beach Aquarium and surprise him. Oh, I wanna do it so bad, but it seems so irresponsible. I don't know if that helped, but all right, I'm off. I am going through our Halloween boxes of decorations and I'm so sad. I'm looking for all the handprints and footprints of my kids because every year I do handprint and footprint, ghosts and pumpkins, like all these things. So Every year you get to see their handprints and footprints get bigger. Yeah. Hi, Lizzie. Of course, did you need to put on your shoes? Yeah. Now, one of the things I did was these little spider webs, and they oh. all have like our little spider faces. A bunch of them broke, and I'm so sad. So I think I need to remake them. Oh, bummer. But yeah, those all broke apart, and then the handprints broke apart. The cat broke. So everything's just breaking from last year. I'm looking for those handprints and footprints and I cannot find them, so I need to keep looking. What are these sticks? Oh, is this supposed to be like stakes that you put in the ground? I gotta go figure this thing out. Oh my god, I was just editing and the weirdest thing just happened to me. I ordered some pizza. That's not the weird thing. That's pretty normal for me, but oh my god! Oh my god, that scared me. Daisy, no, you cannot go outside, you crazy. Are you okay, baby? She's fine, she's purring. As I was closing the door, it wouldn't close. It like stopped, as you probably saw. It felt like someone was tugging on the door, but I knew no one was behind me, so I thought a ghost was like pulling on the door behind me, but really it was just Daisy trying to get out and uh, whatever. Anyway, something very strange happened to me. It's very dark, so I actually, I'll talk to you in a second when it's not dark. Hey, it's less dark now, so something just happened to me that I don't think has ever happened to me before. I used to do meet and greets at my live shows. A question that I would get asked all the time was do you ever just like break out into Miranda randomly like in the day and you don't realize it or you don't mean to? And I always said no like I don't just like randomly talk like Miranda on accident like I don't randomly just turn into her. I'm always consciously aware that I'm going to now speak like Miranda when I do it. You guys I just did that and I have not done Miranda in like over a year and I was editing and I was like really focused on what I was doing and I had ordered food and the food got here but I was like in the middle of something I didn't want to stop what I was doing to go with the food so I was a little like frustrated so out loud to myself I said no are you kidding I'm not ready and then immediately was like did I just do that like what I Cannot believe it just happened. It's so weird that it happened when like, I don't even do the character anymore. She's like possessing me and taking over my body. What the heck? It's almost like she's like, let me go my own. I really don't think that's ever happened before. There's definitely been times when I'll say something like, ah, what? I'm not trying to sound like Miranda. It's just, I'm obviously Miranda. So sometimes when I say things in a dramatic way, it sounds like the character, but it's certainly never intentional. But that, I was not saying that as me. It's not my common vocabulary to be like, are you freaking kidding? I'm not ready yet. I wouldn't say that normally as me. That was so weird. I must be tired. Anyway, that was weird. Hello everyone, it's a new day. Just trying to put on some makeup. I am beyond exhausted. I'm so tired, my goodness. So hopefully a little bit of makeup will make me look more alive. Another thing that might help me to look more alive would be sleep, but I'm not gonna do that. So as you guys know by now, there's a Halloween magical cat that comes to our house every day. Well, this morning it was missing, but it left behind a self-portrait done with my watercolors. I don't know where the kids put it, otherwise I would show it to you and read it to you, but there was a note on it that said something like, oh, I got into your mom's watercolors last night and I 
I did a self portrait and now I'm hiding and you'll never find me just ignore the colorful paw prints and this crazy cat walked all over my house after stepping in paint so the kids followed the paw prints until they found the magical cat and inside the magical cat was some chocolate well look who it is you couldn't stay away could you my period must be coming soon because I am starting to break out and I always break out right before my period now and also that means I'm gonna get some pretty brutal migraines in the next couple days which is so exciting I was going through some pictures on my phone today and I noticed that there was a bunch of footage that I never showed you guys from from a couple of times that I went to the pier with Flynn to look for little sea creatures Eric and Flynn sometimes go to the pier and use this little underwater camera to see the different sea creatures that are down there and they also have this hoop net that sometimes they used to try to catch little sea creatures and just kind of look at them gently and then put them back in the ocean because Flynn is obviously obsessed with sea creatures. Finally, we found a day where all five of us could go because I was desperate to try out that underwater camera because last time they went, they saw a freaking octopus. So we've gone twice and I filmed it on my phone and never posted it. But the first time I got to use that underwater camera and watch Eric try to fish with the hoop net. This was also Maisie and Wesley's first time doing this. It was a bit chaotic, but it was really fun. So check it out. All right, so here is Flynn showing us all how to use the monitor as you can see we're waving to ourselves in the camera uh, this thing is so awesome almost immediately when we threw it down we started seeing cool stuff even if there's no fish you get to see coral and stuff it's awesome okay what are we gonna see on the ocean floor today Wesley <gasps> the flounder two flounders can you believe like the um how much you can see and what you expect it to be like totally dark yeah I can't believe the night vision's pretty good on this yeah. it's a sea pickle Oh, a sea pickle. You saw an octopus. I really did. I, I promise I did. I believe you. He's probably going to be scared. Oh, there's a crab. There's a crab. There's a crab. There's a crab. See where that... Oh, do you see that toot come out of the ground? I, I think I just saw something. Oh, landed on an old crab trap. Whoa, what was that? Just suctioned into the ground. That was crazy. There's a crab walking around. Oh, my gosh. That's a swimmer crab. Look, Macy crabby. That thing is so cute. Oh, there's an Wait, is that an octopus lake? It's an octopus lake. It's on it. Oh my gosh. So that was the coolest thing I've ever seen. After staring at the camera for a while, it was time to pull up the hoop net for the first time and see if we caught anything. Wesley helped Eric reel it in. He was very excited. Oh, anything? Is there anything? Oh, oh what did we catch? That's a big Oh my. I can't believe it, we caught an octopus. We are so excited. Now, obviously we do not keep any of these creatures. We try not to even really touch the creatures unless we absolutely have to. Sometimes we'll put them in this bucket and just observe them for a little bit, but it's just so exciting to be able to have the experience of watching these beautiful creatures, even though it's just for a couple of minutes before we put them back in the ocean. And Maisie's favorite part of the whole experience was looking at the lobsters in the tank that you can buy to eat. So we had a blast and I can't wait to go again. Is that not the most exciting thing in the world? Now, obviously that was a pretty magical experience and it's not gonna happen every single time. There have been times that they've gone and they've seen nothing underneath the ocean and they've caught nothing and that's pretty common. And then I told my sister and her girlfriend about it and they were like, oh, we wanna go. So we invited them out to the pier to try to see if we could find an octopus or anything with them. And it ended up being like one of the most successful experiences finding sea creatures ever at the pier. It was unbelievable. All right, our day started off so strong. We immediately immediately saw dolphins just swimming right by the pier when we got there. It was so magical. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. And then right after that, there was this little seal or sea lion. I still don't know which one is which. You know what's crazy is that I know that the way to tell them apart is like one has ear flaps and the other one doesn't, but I can never remember which one has which. Even though I've looked it up a hundred times and you guys have told me a hundred times, I will never remember. So this is, I don't know what this is. Our first catch of the day in our hoop net was so successful. Look, we caught a little baby octopus, we caught some swimmer crabs, and a starfish. Well, these are actually called sea stars, and this one is a spiny sand star. Lynn was so excited about this octopus because the type of octopus that has come into our net before is a Pacific red octopus, and this one is a California two-spot octopus. By the way, I'm not fact-checking any of this. This is just what Flynn has told me. So we let Flynn put his hand in the bucket with his protective sea glove on, and we said, if the octopus comes to you, that 
is okay. And the octopus reached out and Flynn was so excited because he felt like the octopus was holding his hand. We threw the net back into the ocean and then we focused on our little underwater camera and we saw some flounder fish, which was exciting. And then something farted from the seafloor. If anyone can tell me what that is, that'd be awesome. And the next thing that we caught was this Kellett's Welk snail and this Pacific red octopus, a little baby. He's very cute. You can see it kind of changing color here from red to brown. And then we put that little guy back in the ocean and then Flynn caught something very exciting. This is a decorator crab. They're called decorator crabs because they collect things from the ocean floor and attach them to themselves so that they can camouflage really, really well. This is the mouth of a crab. See that little thing that goes, that's going like in and out, like, like right there? That's its little mouth. I, I know you were like wondering of a, cra of a crab's mouth where it was. And so I tried to show it to you and you just saw it. So isn't that cool? Let me it's see. It's a decorator crab. So, aren't you happy seeing a mouth of a real crab? Okay, fine. This decorator crab is the craziest one I have ever seen. Look how decorated it is. We didn't even think it was a crab at first when we pulled it up. We thought it was just seaweed. It was very exciting and we had a really great day. Yeah, isn't that magical? We haven't been back since then, but I don't know that we'll ever top those experiences anyway. It was so magical. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go hang out with my cute little kiddos and I will see you guys later. Bye. What is all these paw prints? What are these from? They're cats. A cat? The magical cat. The magical cat? Yeah, it painted all. Oh my. And what did it bring to you? It brought you chocolate? Yeah! I opened it. Yeah, no, we, didn't do, we never did our cookies yesterday, so we gotta do these today. Okay guys, I pretty much ended up having a migraine the rest of the day, so I didn't vlog anything else. Now obviously my bangs are evidence that I went to the beach. I took the twins thinking that would be fun, but then my migraine just started like blazing. So I didn't film any of that. I just focused on like hanging out with the twins and not crying. <laughs> and now I am trying to make an opalescent nudibranch, or as some would call it a nudibranch, because tonight when I was putting Flynn to sleep, we were talking about nudibranch or nudibranch or however you're supposed to say it. and. He said, Mommy, do you think you could make me an opalescent nudibranch? That's my favorite kind. And I was like, I highly doubt it. That seems impossible. And of course, now I'm trying. So I don't know if I'll be successful because this is a very intense, insane little sea slug creature thing. But I'm going to try. Hopefully it works out. All right, I'm going to go. I hope you'll have a great weekend. I will see y'all very soon. All right, bye. bye.